Hi guys, I'm Becky, my channel's Hot Beck Sews. Welcome back if you're a subscriber and welcome if you're new. Today's a Friday Sews where I'm going to talk about what I've been up to with you. I hope you're all well, I hope you're all happy and I hope you've all had plenty of time to sew. So I am coming at you from my kitchen today. I am literally sitting at my desk and filming because it's my lunch break. I only really want to take a quick lunch to film this and then I need to get back to it. So I've got a few bits to talk about with you this week. Um, first of all, let's start with what I'm wearing because I think, you know, it's just a gorgeous blouse, so why not share it? Um, this month we have a competition being run by the lovely Gabrielle from Cloth Edit and Ruan, the Yorkshire Sew Girl. And it is a um, Sew April blouse. So you sew up a blouse throughout the month of April and you share it tag them both in um, and do it under the hashtag so April Blouse 24 um, to enter yourself in. There's lots of amazing prizes. So if you do like this, go over and check that out and get it made up. Um, Marnie Blouse is a Tilly in the Buttons pattern. This is made out of double gauze. I've omitted um, the pleats, the arm pleats, um, the shoulder ruffle. Um, I've just gone for a fairly basic version, but I have included the ruffle on the neckline because I really like that look. It's kind of got a Victorian style look to it. Um, but I absolutely love this blouse. The sleeves are just amazing on it. Um, I wear this for work. Today I have it on with a pair of ready-to-wear joggers because obviously I'm working from home, but I'll pop a picture in here so you can see it. So I'm essentially smart from here upwards for everybody um, to see me when I'm on the screen doing my team schools and stuff. So what have I been up to from a sewing perspective? My machine has not been on this week at all. Um, I did attend the lovely Sally, who is the Staffordshire Sewist Sewing Social on Saturday. It was her one year anniversary and I was part of the original group that went. I am very lucky. I'll pop in the picture that was taken from the very first one and then I'll pop in the picture that was taken at this latest one for you to see. It was just really enjoyable. Sally went all out as she does. She bought birthday cakes um, and she had given everybody like an individual pack. It had like a party popper in it, um, a thread um, pool, a, a thread, one of those silicone thread pods. That's it, thread pod um, that you can pop your thread and bobbin, matching bobbin in, which was just really lovely. And then we all had these little floral sort of headbands with little lights on, and it was just amazing. Um, I had an absolutely wonderful day. I didn't take anything sewing to do with me because I knew that I had a couple of jobs I wanted to do that I probably wouldn't have done at home. So, with that being said, obviously I didn't get any sewing done. So the blouse that I shared with you last week um, that I'd started on hasn't gone any further. It's still just a front, a back and an armhole. So I still need to sort out the bias binding because I've got to unpick that. Um, I need to change my needle in the machine because I think that will help um, and attach the sleeves and then um, do the buttons and button placket. Um, so yeah, that hasn't been done, but I will get that finished up this week. So that was the first thing that I wanted to say. Then I took with me, um, I don't know if you guys remember, I shared with you a dress that I had bought that I really loved the fabric for, but the dress style just didn't suit me. Um, I'll pop in a picture or the video if I can find it of me twirling around in this really sort of unflattering dress. But this was the project that I took with me to sit and unpick because like this bit here that I've just picked up, it had these gorgeous ruffles that went into the bottom of the dress and it had this lovely sort of overlocked um, top piece and I really wanted to keep those details. So I have carefully unpicked where I can. Um, and then I have done some cutting. So like the side seams that were overlocked and um, sewn in, I've just cut them as close to the thread as possible to maximize the use of fabric. But this is that beautiful pink color, pink and orange color fabric. Now, luckily, I think the dimensions of the direction, dimensions of the direction, the directions of the flowers are actually in a in sort of their multi-directional. So I can use these blocks of fabric to try and make something up. And if needs be, I can always patchwork it. Um, but I've got quite a bit of fabric here. I think the largest piece of fabric I've got is the um, the back piece. Is this? Uh, find it. I 
she says, but cannot find it. Ah, that's the front piece. So this is the biggest piece of fabric I have, um, but I do have a back piece that's on fold. So this is the longest piece. So I do think that there's gonna be enough there to hopefully try and get a set of shorts and a top out of. So I spent quite a bit of time unpicking that, making sure that I had everything I needed um, to really get moving forward. I've just realized I need to go and grab something. So I also wanted to share with you and I had to go and grab it, so apologies about that. Um, I um, went to the swaps table to have a look, as you do. I took some bits with me, but when I went in, I'd taken some brown cowdroy fabric that I bought ages ago thinking I'd make a pair of um, sort of cowdroy um, trousers out of them. Quite excited by that prospect. But when I looked at the fabric, I was like, Becky, why have you bought this? This isn't a colour you'd normally wear. You know, it's one of those things that, as as we do when we end up de-stashing, actually, we often purchase things that we think of at the time are amazing. And if we don't make them up, we don't end up using them. So I took this gorgeous brown cowdroy into the social and I held it up and said to Sarah, is this something you would use? And she said, yes. So she had that. And I took another piece of fabric that Ruth had for the swaps table. So I didn't even make my fabrics, didn't even make it to the swaps table. However, I went off and had a look at the swaps table and came across this fabric. Now it's not, the pink of it's not really coming up as well as it should on the screen, but, um, I really like blue and pink together. Well, I like anything with pink, to be fair. There's some amazing Adidas Gazelle trainers that are red and pink that I'm just obsessed with. They've got some pink and green ones as well, and I just really want to purchase them, but they're like 90 quid, and that's 90 quid I could spend on fabric. Um, <laughs> so I picked up this. This is a two-way stretch fabric. I think this is definitely a polyester fabric, but I really like the texture, and I think it would make probably quite a nice oversized sort of T-shirt to throw on. Um, you know, in polyester, you can sweat. So definitely don't want to make anything too fitted um, with this to keep it nice and loose. But it is a lovely fabric. And I really, really like the waves of this. Um, the colour's not coming up great on the screen, but I absolutely love it. So um, I'm really pleased with that particular one. I picked that up off the swaps table. And for me, I was quite reserved. That was all I got from the swaps table. Um, I subscribe to the um, pink, Think Pink uh, subscription box. In fact, um, Sally, uh, Sally, Adele and I all went and we all had our little Beyond the Pink Door Think Pink um, cups with us. I'll pop a picture in here because I did get a picture of us having them at the time. Um, and that was lovely. But one of the fabrics that came a couple of months ago was a white cowdroy with like these little fans on them just it wasn't my colorings the fabric was amazing and the quality was just stunning but it just wasn't my cup of tea so ruth had messaged me to say would i be interested in a swap now ruth and i've done swaps before and this was the fabric that she wanted to swap with this is a minerva exclusive fabric as you can see here um and this is just stunning i absolutely love this fabric um it's a dark blue background. I think it's coming up quite black. It's because I've got the light behind me today. Um, and it's just really, really pretty. Now, she has washed this, I think. Um, so I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to make out of this, but I'm going to make something amazing out of it. It's a lovely, lightweight viscose. And I think it will it will just make a beautiful sort of summery style dress of some sorts. So I'm really, really pleased with that. It was sitting there waiting for me on my desk when I got in. Um, it looks like candy, so it'd be really cool. Um, so that was the fabrics and everything that I got from the social. I um, felt very spoilt when I came away, to be fair, because I did get quite a bit from the social. It's really nice when you come away with stuff like that. I didn't um, take anything to sew, as I said, but I did take a couple of projects with me to cut out. So once I'd unpicked the dress, I um, took this with me. So this is a fabric. I don't know if you remember, I shared it a couple of weeks ago, but I got it from the lovely Claire. I've been after this fabric for ages. It was in one of the So Hayley Jane boxes and I stopped my subscription to So Hayley Jane. And 
I stopped my subscription because I wasn't utilising most of the fabrics. However, she has some absolute corkers come out and I'm like, I need that fabric in my life. Um, unfortunately for me, that happened sort of once in a blue moon, which is why I don't subscribe. But when she does have the corkers, I really want to get hold of it. And this one sold out immediately. And Claire, bless her, I'd mentioned it to her at the Stitch Festival. So she sent me it. So she sent me the two and a half metres that came in the classic box, I think it was at the time. And then, because um, the So Holy Jane boxes, if you are interested, you get, you've either got a mini box, which I think is like a metre of fabric. Um, you've got a classic box, which is two and a half metres, along with all the other goodies. And then you've got a luxury, which is three and a half meters um, it's usually a luxury fabric of some sort and there's always a pattern in there as well as the other goodies um, it is a great um, subscription box um, if you like surprises um, and you're not like me that you're quite fussy about the colors of fabric that you have um, so yeah this is um, I've, I've managed to get because she sent me a little remnant piece alongside the two and a half meters of this the Avenir jumpsuit cut out. Now the lovely Sam who's let sparkle with Sam has also made the Avenir jumpsuit out of this and I was looking at hers and it just looked incredible and I'm completely copycatting her. But that would be perfect to take away with me on holiday and I'm actually thinking that'd be a really nice travel um, outfit because it's such a comfortable outfit. It'd be really good to stick on on the morning that we're actually traveling over so then I'm adjusted for the weather when we get there. So no rush to get that sewn up, um, but it's all cut out and ready to go when I want to. The other thing that I took with me was the Le Blouse pattern by Italia Brunette. I've shared this last week. I've shared it before with the fabric. I've not got it to hand, but that is now all cut out. I'd spent the week before piecing the pattern together. I've now got that cut out to go. So my plans for this coming week is to get the Le Blouse pattern sewn up and the Anthea Allen blouse finished because it's my daughter's birthday Saturday, but other than that, I haven't really got any plans. The other thing that I did, I took with me, when I took that dress with me to unpick, I took another dress with me that I would potentially be unpicking. Now, if you guys remember a little while back, I shared with you a everyday dress by New Craft House that I made in this stunning Lady McElroy fabric. And it is absolutely, beautiful the dress looks stunning but on me i'll pop a picture in it looked like a tent um and at the time i was talking to you guys about it lots of people suggested putting waist ties in um a belt and i just felt like it wasn't going to work it just it's not a dress as much as i love it on other people it's not a dress i like on me and actually i went upstairs and i tried on my viscose version i'll pop in a picture here of my viscose version and i love my viscose version but even in my viscose fabric i'm still conscious of how floaty and how shapeless it is on me um and i do wear it but probably not as much as i should so i've decided that there was no point in even trying to save the dress so there was part of me that thought i could unpick the dress that was an option for me and i took it with me with the intentions of allowing adele to try it on and see whether she likes it and if she did i would hem it and pop the button on it um and if she didn't um, I would take it away with me. I, I would sit and unpick it whilst I was there so I could try and save her the fabric. So she tried it on and she loved it. So I'll pop a picture in here because she looks amazing in it. She just looks stunning. The fabric really works for her as well. And that style of dress just looks incredible on there so on her so she needs to she said that she wanted to hem it and she'd do the button on it so i was like okay great i'll let you do that um so it'll be really nice hopefully she gets the wear out of that dress i'm really hoping that she enjoys it because it's nice i don't think i've ever i don't make i'm just very selfish sort of well i'm not selfish somebody said to me they didn't like the term selfish sewing and i completely understand not enjoying that term but it really gave me a good feeling because Adele appreciates how much work goes into it as a sewist herself it just made me think yeah I've made that and she looks amazing in it and yeah anyway um so that made me really happy that that has now gone to a good home and she wants to finish it off which meant I didn't even have to hem it or um put the button on it which is great 
so that was everything i think that's everything i actually have to share with you this week i've like i said a lot of my concentration i've had lots of purchases on jazz and wow this week a lot of my concentration has been getting together all of my um uh, earrings and buttons so these are like my new earring collection i think i shared these with you um these are like lady McElroy, the tokyo lights fabric it was me playing with fabric and i've made some absolutely stunning earrings and some stunning buttons now the buttons aren't on the website yet they are to go on that's that's where my concentration has been this week is by getting all of these buttons up and running but anybody that's ordered buttons off me over the last week will get a little sample button come out in their um they'll get one of these come out so here's another one because i've got another one lingering around because i was packing orders at about six o'clock this morning so they'll just get one of these buttons um in their little pack because i've been sending a little sample out however these packs will be on the website this weekend because i have nearly finished getting them all together so thank you everybody that has purchased but that is where most of my time has been this week just making sure that these are all ready to come and i don't know if any of you have noticed but i have rebranded or or redone my logo so this is now the logo that i have which is jazz and wow resin buttons and earrings which is great and i'm also i've got like some buttons that are going on these lovely little cards as well so yeah lots of time has been going into that i know that's not so related sorry guys if i'm boring you i'm not actually trying to sell to you i'm just sharing with you what i've been up to um right so that is it from me this week i hope you've enjoyed today's vlog even though it's short and sweet there's not masses to talk about and i will catch you all next week happy sewing bye